Hi everybody. We just recently bought this 2002 Coleman Tacoma pop-up camper and it is in great shape. I mean, it looks practically brand new. The people that uh, uh, had this before us really did a good job taking care of it. I mean, the decals and everything are look brand new. The only thing was the Coleman decal was kind of peeling, so I took that off. I'm going to replace that. We've already had it out once, and it's it's really great. I'm really glad we bought it. So I like the camper, but it doesn't have front storage like other pop-up campers have. So I'm like, well, how can I fix that? Well, then I saw somebody on uh, YouTube that uh, put like a platform where their propane tanks were. So I'm kind of looking at mine here. If I take off these propane tanks, that gives me a nice little area to put a platform on. I originally thought I could get some sort of a, you know, one of those cargo carriers that go into your hitch. Just take the hitch off, and uh, I could, by using, if there was the mesh kind, you know, the cargo carrier with the mesh bottom, I could zip tie uh, around the mesh and around the frame here, and that would hold it uh, secure pretty well. But I couldn't find a carrier that was narrow enough to fit in here. So then I decided, well, why can't we just take a piece of plywood, cut it to size, and, and put it on here. So what I can do is, see these, uh, this place for the propane tanks, they just screw off. So if I remove this and get a piece of plywood, in this case, it's going to be about like uh, 72 inches wide. Well, 72 inches long and about 18 inches wide from here to here. Notch it out so the area here for the propane tanks has enough room. Put the board down there and then put the uh, holder for the propane tanks on top of it. And then bolt the uh, platform onto the frame using the holes that are already here on the on the framing part and then probably also use some of the holes that uh, is holding this propane thing on and then what I could do is put like a tubby on each side and that would give me plenty of storage for you know like my uh, the blocks full of jacks and electrical equipment and all that other stuff so uh, I thought I'd go ahead and try that and see how it works and if it works I'll show you guys and if it doesn't then nobody will see this YouTube video well what do you know we did it and pretty much as planned um, I'll bring you up here so yeah so there's the platform and we got it bolted onto those um, through those holes I showed you earlier with the carriage bolts we got I think four um, and just put that uh, uh, propane tank holder just screwed those screwed it um, into the platform uh, we put the two by twos around the edge just to kind of give a little bit of lift so things don't slide off uh, put some carpeting wrap some carpeting around it so it didn't scratch up the camper You know, I also have some uh, eye hooks here for when we put our tubbies on. You can strap down the tubbies. So, yeah, came out pretty good. So that uh, put a tubby on each side. That should give us plenty of storage. So I got the camper back in the backyard here and got our storage uh, bins on it. And this should provide us with 
a decent amount of storage. I might sometime try to find some bins that are a little bigger. Not necessarily wider or longer, but maybe taller because as you can see, I'm probably got about a foot taller we can go on them. But as for now, they'll work okay. Um, I also want to mention if you don't have a way to cut plywood at uh, home or you don't have a vehicle big enough to bring home a full size uh, sheet of plywood, uh, see if the place that you buy it from, see if they'll cut it to size for you. That's what uh, we did in Home Depot. We had them uh, cut it to, in this case, uh, this turned out to be 18 and a half by uh, uh, 78 inches. But they, they cut it for us and brought it home and all we had to do is basically screw it on. Um, we'll probably end up painting it next year. It's a, a treated piece of uh, plywood, so we'll wait until it dries out and paint it black maybe sometime next year. But um, uh, if you see videos that I post that, keep in mind, I'm not very handy. So uh, if you see uh, one of my videos, like a how-to video, if I can do it, then you can certainly do it. And uh, just having a place like Home Depot cut the boards for you, hey, it's another reason why you should be able to do this yourself too. So anyway, that's my uh, down and dirty video of making a storage platform on your camper. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful, and we'll see you next time.